everyone, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. Welcome to Shensha Amazing! Kung saan pag-uusapan natin ang mga science concepts from grade 7 to grade 12. Kasama ang topics in general science, biology, chemistry, physics, and earth science. At dito, Bida Ngagham! Waves move in straight lines like the waves of an ocean, spread out in circles like ripples in a pond, or spread out in spheres just like sound waves in the air. But when wave hits a boundary, it exhibits different properties such as reflection, refraction, diffraction, and interference. And our Shensha Amazing episode will be discussing those properties today. Let's start with reflection. When a wave hits a surface, a surface through which it cannot pass, it bounces back. This phenomenon is called reflection. Consider a light ray being reflected by a mirror. The ray that hits the barrier is called the incident ray. And the ray that is thrown back is called the reflected ray. The angle formed by the incident ray with the normal, which is the one in red color, is called the angle of incidence, and the angle formed by the reflected ray is called the angle of reflection. You must take note that the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection are equal. The main idea about reflection is that it is the property of a wave to bounce back when it hits a surface cannot pass through. Our examples of reflection. Ano ang mga common na mga bagay na nagre-reflect? We have the scenery. The scenery is reflected by the water. Another example would be a ball being reflected or bounced back by the ground. Another property of wave is refraction. Refraction may not be common for everyone because they may not know that this is actually a product of refraction. How? Let's find out. When a wave moves from one medium to another, it changes speed as it enters the second medium, which causes it to bend. This phenomenon is called refraction. In our example, there are two media. First, the waves were first in a gas medium and it traveled to another medium which is liquid. Kaya nagbend ang light waves and caused the spoon to appear distorted. Pero in reality, the spoon is actually not broken. It's just its apparent appearance. Take note of the main idea about refraction. It is the bending of waves due to a change in speed as it passes through one medium to another of difference density. A common example of refraction is exhibited when someone tries to catch a fish. The real fish is actually nearer the person, but due to the bending of light as it passes from gas to liquid, an apparent image of the fish which is farther is formed. Kaya akala ng tao mas malayo ang fish when in fact it is actually nearer. Another example of refraction is this. When your face appears bigger through a glass. The third property of wave that we are going to discuss is diffraction. It is also the bending of waves but take note around the edge, corner, or hole of a barrier. Ang diffraction na pwedeng mangyari sa edge ng isang barrier, just like in this one, the noise, 
is diffracted because it cannot pass through the wall. Diffraction can also happen sa isang hole or aperture. In the picture, we can see the waves being diffracted. Larger openings produce less diffraction while smaller openings produce more diffracted waves. A typical example of diffraction that we can see in our houses every day is this phenomenon. Light is diffracted as it passes through the edge of the door, producing diffracted waves. The last property that we're going to discuss in this video is interference. It is the effect of the interaction between two waves when they meet. There are two types of interference, merong constructive and destructive. Let's start with constructive interference. Paano nangyayari ang isang constructive interference? If the crest of one wave meets the crests of the other and the troughs of one wave meet the troughs of the other, the result is constructive interference. In this case, the two waves are in phase. That's why the energy of the waves will combine, resulting to the amplitude of the wave being twice as higher as the amplitude of either original waves. Wave X plus wave Y produces a resultant wave Z which has larger amplitude. For example, there are two girls singing the same song and they are singing it together making the song that they are singing louder than when they sing it alone. On the other hand, destructive interference happens if the crests of one wave meet the troughs of the other. In this case, the two waves are out of phase. The amplitude of the first wave cancels out the amplitude of the second wave and produces a wave with zero amplitude. The yellow wave cancels out the green wave, producing a resultant red wave which has zero amplitude. An example of an object showing destructive interference are noise-canceling headphones. They work by using a microphone to pick up the frequencies of incoming waves. Then, the headphone sends out a wave that is the exact opposite, canceling out the sound. That's why we hear clearer music in noise-canceling headphones. To wrap up our discussion, let's have a quick recap. In this video, we talked about the properties of waves, just like reflection, and discussed its examples, refraction and its examples, diffraction and its examples, interference, including the two types of interference. It's good time! To find out how much you have learned in this Shansh Amazing episode, we will be having a short quiz. After 3 minutes, we will check if your answers are correct.
check kung tama ang mga sagot nyo. Number one, it causes the apparent bending of the spoon placed in a glass. Apparent bending because the wave traveled from one medium to another. This is refraction. Number two, it is the bouncing back of a wave. This is reflection. Number three, it is the bending of wave through the edge or hole of a barrier, merong barrier, which causes diffracted waves. This is diffraction. Number four, the amplitude of the first wave cancels out the other wave. Ito ay destructive interference. Last number, it is the ray that hits the barrier. This is incident ray. That answer short quiz, please comment your score over 5 in the comment section below. We hope you learned a lot. That ends our Shensha Amazing episode for today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends so that we can learn together. Bye!